Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be continuing Seven Days to Die once again. Let's get that started, shall we? So if you remember from last time, we had survived another whole night, this time every six days rather than seven days. And this one actually went quite smoothly compared to how it's normally been going, where we've had the zombies attacking a part of the wall that are not supposed to be attacking for us, so that was quite nice. Um, we did have a couple of issues where we had, um, well, basically shot our own floor out, causing issues. So that is one thing we need to work on. And I think that's the reason we'll be making a third bunker instead of just a second bunker. But we have a basic idea formulated for it, and it should work perfectly for us. We shouldn't really have any issues when it comes to this, so we should be pretty good to go. Anyway, wait for the world to initialize, and begin, we're going to rebuild and I guess finish building the cage on top of our secondary little thing, which means we need to get some wood, because wood is what we're currently lacking. to go that in there Some more grass like that pop off all that like that okay perfect so before I do anything I'm gonna do that real quick because that was annoying me that looks good. So, we need to go cut down some trees in order to get some stuff here. I'm going to leave that running for now. And so, let's go get our truck out of the garage. Oh, okay. Go to a place that there's trees. trees here. There's like two trees right there that escaped my uh, deforestation. This tree. Get that tree. Yep, I knew I saw a small tree here. Look at that. Those are just eyesores.
Very simple, easy wood right there. Tell if my chainsaw destroyed that cart like I wanted to, or if the tree falling did it. What a very interesting way to fall and get destroyed. I honestly thought I was gonna like fall over completely, not just like fall down in chunks. That was kind of cool. All the trees basically up to the village. I think we'll take out those three trees right in front of us here after we cap some zombies in the head from right here. Ah, oh, the one behind the rock. Of course, they. Oh, there's a couple over there. that last shot there. At least she's coming towards me now, so we're out there. Looks like that guy got past there. Take them down. Excellent. This is why taking out trees is so beneficial, because you can just find a zombie, cap a zombie. Zombie, cap a zombie. Because the only things that are standing up other than the grass are the zombies now, so Find the head and tap it. And I think since there's uh, like less trees in front of me, like you see how I can see all the way over to the forest trees over there, uh, the, the the wasteland forest area. But over here, I can't see much past there. But if I zoom in, I can. I think there's like a limit to how many things can be on screen at the same time. Yeah, that is so satisfying. All right, let's go home. And by home, I mean uh, to the last three trees. So this should be enough wood to uh, tide us over. Finish off our little extension. Huge area of land that just completely deforested. Looks beautiful. I love it. Good times. All right. Now we have wood. We'll have cobble. I'll go ahead and finish this little area over here, but I'm gonna go down first over here because my furnace needs to be turned off. That's all I have left in it is hay. Although I can just turn it on and finish producing everything here. That'll work. How's this looking? Here we go, a little more iron. We have almost 30,000 iron. That's very, very good. We'll just need to replace the pillar parts that got destroyed. Oh, that was concrete. Oopsie. Well, can't do much about that now. We're going to have some bits that are concrete, I guess, there. Why did that one not get upgraded? Weird. Oh, because I had to repair it, that's right.
I'm not gonna care too much about the clearance for this. Why am I carrying cement? Because I was repairing everything, I forgot. Oh my god. Well, before I screw up and make anything else. Is this attached to anything? Yeah, that one. Okay. Sure. Before I screw up and make anything else into cement by accident, let's go ahead and put that away. While I'm here, I might as well just put away the other stuff that I picked up here. Perfect. I'll just level up again. Perfect. It does take for like ever to go ahead and turn that off now. This is not producing anything of value. Just burning clay. Okay. Frame shapes. Make 100. I do need to finish off the fencing up here. Transform this into that. Into that. Oh my god. Being able to just click copy rotation. I'm so glad I, I looked at that and thought I could do it. Last one there. Yep. is going to have to go up and down, so I can't put any uh, enforcement there. Get the outer ring finished. at first before you can upgrade it. that, 
I think we're done with the cage over this one. And if you remember from last stream when we were defending here, the cage actually played an integral part of keeping us alive. Because without a cave, cage, we had like maybe a dozen, not a dozen, sorry, like half a dozen, I mean, uh, birds that came at us, tried to attack us from here. They didn't even care about going through here. So it really helped when we were, you know, shooting down and messing these guys up. We can definitely use this place again if we have to. And uh, that, that's really great. So, but I don't think we, we will right now. What I want to do is I want to focus on the new part of a building, right? So that's what we'll be doing now. We're going to make another generator bank. And then... We'll make an electric... No. 20. Mm, let's just make 8. 16. That's fine. 16 electric fences. I don't think we need to make the huge 20 that we had before. We do need to make some more forged iron now, though. Because if we don't, we all... Kind of sad. So let me actually just make max, since that's all the clay we have. I'm gonna do that. And then, oh boy, so much still. Yeah, dang. Okay. And then I also want to take out my pine cones. Because I think we'll replant some of the forest. And, uh, wrong button. There we go. No glowy eye. All right. What can I make with this shale? Gas, oil. Do I need oil for anything right now? What does what oil make again? Remind me. Blade traps, crucible, dart trap. G auto turrets. I don't really want auto turrets to be doing anything, to be honest, though. So I don't think we really have anything important here. Although, that reminds me. We do have... Um, was it the vehicle reserve tank? Yeah, so... Steel, trap, polymer, duct tape, and mechanical products. Okay. So, that, 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 and that. Yes. Build it. Okay. Go ahead and store this stuff back here. Excellent. And then I guess we're going to make just uh, some more gas while we're having nothing to do there. That stuff. There. There. I'm gonna go ahead and remake all of the uh, backs that we had here before. There we go. Nice. Okay. These are just switches, right? Just normal switches. Okay, cool. Now then. Let's go ahead and make all the cobblestone rocks we can. And how's this working? Pretty good still. Take those and put them here. Alright, so. A couple things to do with now. I don't want to go out and complete this next mission yet, simply because we have um, not a lot of time before night comes, right? So what I think we could do is begin the foundations of our next bunker. And there's a couple things to think about, because it's going to be on this side or behind here, right? So the question is, if I put it back here, do I have it so that the entrance for it is pointing similar to there and as such the zombies can either go into there or here and I might do that simply because if I have the the entrance pointed like back that way even even if I have like a gate that drops across there they might not 
transition easily into the uh, the expert kill hole here, you know. So I think it might be wise to have it point this way. So both of the entrances are at this end, right? And that would help to kind of solidify that area. So we're going to have 16 uh, electric fences in here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So this is how wide uh, or how, how long the tunnel is going to be at a minimum, right? Um, and then, of course, the electric fences on either side. Uh, however, unlike the last one that we did, um, I think I want to have at least two layers between the row that the zombies are going on and this one. And also, I'm going to have like three layers here. So our, our first order of business is not so much getting the um, tunnel made, it's to figure out what we have to do in order to get drawbridge to function properly now. So let's just go ahead and start by doing this. Then that. And then I'm just going to go up here. I'm just going to kind of build some staircase steps, right? Extend this back, figure out how tall I need it exactly. Oh, that sound. Okay. If I do this, I still need to go like two higher, right? I think that's the same height. No, I think we're still off by a little bit. We need to go one higher, because that is... If I do that... Let me just pick up this row here, because it's not going to matter. Regardless. I'm going to make 100 extra frames. Cobblestone after that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I do need to go one more higher at least. So I think this is the height or the width that I would need for the bridge. But first of all, let's go ahead and get the bridge. So I know exactly how wide it has to be. And then that'll be kind of our our, our lip, right? Our, our top of the base that we know where it's at and all that good jazz. That will work out for us. All right. So we're going to want it to be on this side, right? So if we put it here, and we can actually just go ahead and go down here. So, yeah, this is about correct. Um, let's go ahead and put that there so I can get around here better. Right there is going to be the like the lip of how far we want this to be. Right? I just fall down here. Bring this out a bit. That's going to be the platform we really have to work with, right? Okay. And I'm not gonna do it yet, but I'm gonna rip up those after we get a, a more solid foundation here. This is how far away from the wall that can be. This is gonna be like a flat, just walled, right? Go ahead and remove this here quick. All one block there, and I can go ahead and remove these two. Okay, so let's begin as one should by just fortifying this. Perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead. 
ahead and make that one. Okay. So I think I can go ahead and take these without having too much issue. Okay, and it's still sturdy, so basically accomplished the mission. All right. But we will want to make this a little bit wider here. Just so all of it's caught on there. Also, in hindsight, I'm not sure why I used concrete all the way up. Well, it's fine for right now. Now we have that taken care of, right? What we want to do next is just kind of figure out how we're going to deal with the interior and getting up to this platform, essentially, right? Let's go ahead and get rid of all this. So this is going to be the, the overall outer wall, right? Oops. I guess we're making all this concrete now. Here we go. Okay. So that is the outer wall that's going to protect us. But I want it to be at least four deep, right? So that's going to be the strength of our wall. Just a nice four deep wall that's going to protect us from all things crazy. Okay. If we bring this back, one, two, four, we're going to have, we can have our area be here, but if that's going to be the corner, we're going to need to make it one, two, four, so here, right? Okay. This is the minimum that our thing is kind of deep, right? Okay. We can go ahead and just square this off. We know this is where we're going to be at. So, let's go ahead and just say that the, the main tunnel is here, right? So, so the main tunnel for the enemy to come down right here, right? And so that leaves us here where there will be a... Well, let, let's actually... Hmm, we don't need much space in here, right? So what if I just do this? I can place this block here. Bam, we have that there, right? And then we change this to be... I'll go bars here, right? Bar there, bar there. We're going to reinforce these to concrete as well, because this is where the enemies are going to be countered away at the door. Okay. So we can transform this back into normal cubes to do that and to do this, right? One, two, three, four. This is gonna be the stupid trees, I hate them. This is gonna be the exterior right here, right? Okay, however, I need to make some adjustments right here because we need a door, right? And we put the door, like, right there. 
right? So we'll put the door here. We're going to have to have this be uh, the tunnel back in, right? So it'll be more like this. So the door is here. All this goes around here. So we'll do that, right? Okay. Kind of solidify our, our base premise. So we'll be sitting here shooting down this tunnel at the zombies. It'll be a nice thing. The door will be sitting here where uh, we go. I'll just have to make another vault door, but that's fine. Go ahead and take this stuff out. We'll just finish making our little entrance here. I don't think we really need concrete floors here, but it'll be nice to just have. So we'll do that. And then what we'll do is we'll have, I think right here, Right here, I have a nice ladder can go up, right? What do we got left? 2,000? Okay, not bad. Let's we'll hop down here. I'm going to finish this. Rest this cobble. Level up, and we got four skill points to spend. I guess we forgot about spending skill points at some point. All right, so that was level eight, or seven. It means we can get the next level of this to max that out. And we can get the next level of Gunslinger to max that out. Then we can get Flurry of Blows and Run and Gun also maxed out the next time we level get those. All right. Perfect. I'm just gonna go around here. We know this is all going to be concrete. Okay. So then the door will go here. Let's make an archway for the door. Okay. Before I forget, let's go ahead and make some ladder. I need five, maybe six ladder. I don't remember exactly. We'll just make five for now, and if we need to increase it, we can. We need two more ladder, okay. One, and two. Go. Perfect. Okay. Now we have our little bunker. We can also do that. But like I had mentioned last time, this will kind of be where we're fighting the zombies at, right? So they'll be trying to come down here, probably trying to attack these bars or the door or both, right? So, oops, I can't jump. This will kind of be the uh, the hallway that they kind of follow, right? Um, make a hundred more of these. They're going to be coming down here, and like I said, we're going to have two block width here to protect the uh, nodes inside, right? And here we'll have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to be our rows of electric fences. Right? Okay. Go ahead and outline this a little more. 
So I said it was going to be four thick, but this is only three, right? Because we have the uh, electric fences here. So what we'll do is increase this thickness right here. Make that three. And of course, we'll need to increase this stuff here as well, right? We'll do this. Right here. One more there. And that way, they're just not going to try to dig through here just to get to that, right? Let's do that for everywhere. A hundred more frames, please. Get the truck and move it around a little bit. A little bit further away. I want to extend this over because we only had the one three there before. Now we got a nice four row. Uh, thing here. So this is going to be our, our basic outline for our bunker here, um, where the missing hollows are going to be filled with the uh, electrodes and whatnot. And in fact, why don't we go ahead and I'm just going to want to make these to be actually cement bottoms. I'm just going to use the cement blocks for simplicity's sake. You know, and we'll do the same thing over here just to kind of give it a more concrete foundation. Literally, right? Yep. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. I just messed up counting there. We'll just put that right there. Easy. Okay. Then one extra. That's fine. All right. That happens from time to time. We'll also want to make the tunnels floor here also have cement for the floor. Just to kind of protect it against the tops and stuff blowing up. Because as you know, the tops like to do that. And it's very naughty of them. Let's go ahead and do this. Night has fallen. I don't see anyone on the horizon though, so we should be fine. At least we have the, the basic frame up here, right? So I think I'll just go ahead and I'm just gonna build a little safe bunker right here for us with the remaining concrete shapes that I have. layer. This one doesn't have to be too secure uh, in terms of like, I don't have to have it be like really high or anything. So what we'll do is like this, I'm going to keep building up here. This however will be covered. We don't need this to be exposed, but this all, this here will be uh, un uncovered just so we can you know, see up and whatnot. I think this should be all I need for the normal concrete here. We can just finish that off. Cobblestone. Want to waste concrete, you know? Get up here. I have two more back here, so that's fine. Um, and so what we'll do is these here. Didn't I just see a green glow from somewhere over there? Am I just seeing things? Hey, Carvin, how's it going? I am making a just a bunker to defend against the horde, basically. Uh, we learned 
I basically learned from my past mistakes that shooting downward into a tunnel that the enemies are coming from it is essentially just making me destroy my own floor and having to do repairs. So I figured what we would do is make it so, for example, down here, as the zombies are coming through the tunnel, rather than me shooting at the ground, I'm just shooting at open space and basically more zombies behind them. So it's a nice way to uh, keep them from, you know, having me damage my floor. I'm just getting this ready for the next horde, which should be, since the last one was day 56, right? It'll be day 72. I did the map correctly, which I probably did. Okay, and then one more layer here. Yeah, making an improved bottleneck. Use these. Use the cement blocks. Bars. Advanced rotation. There, there, there. We can shoot any birds that decide to come up and get us. Convert that back into a cube. That there, throw that there. I think that's the way we want the hatch to open. Yep. All right. Perfect. So we have this nice little area up here. If we have any birds come up, we can just shoot them just by looking upwards. Very easy, very simple. And then uh, we can also see downward if we have to, to kill any zombies that are coming there. Nope. All right, now we just got to finish off all of this, but I think I will want to get my electrics before we do that. Okay, let's turn this off while the gas is done there. But we're still making shotgun shells. Let's cancel those so we can get the uh, generator and stuff. Yeah, you can go up the ladder if the hatch is that way. That's how I normally have the hatches. So, it might just take a little bit of finagling to get out properly, but it'll work. Okay. So that's up right there. Alright, let's actually remove this iron. And I'm gonna put my clay in here because we already have three. Is 30,000 the limit for how many resources can be put into this? Have I been wasting iron? Well, I guess the number wasn't going down from 6,000, so not really. Oh, regardless. I didn't realize there was a limit to how much can be in the furnace, but I guess there is. Okay. All right. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to use these rations. Throw those there. Then. All right, I made some water, but then I had Converted it all into the meat there. All right, well, let's just drink the yucca juice to get my thirst back up. I think we'll eat one more of the boiled meats as well. Yo. All Excellent. All right. Did this finish yet? Generator finished. Heck yeah. And do I have my engines? I got a couple of engines. That should be all I need. Leave. Okay. We'll need these as well. Okay. Let's go. 
back up here. Well, I guess while we're just waiting for stuff to cook. So my first bunker, it was here. I have this like, you know, vault door and then I have a couple of the punching turrets to knock them down into this blade trap tunnel. And this used to be like the, the last, like this used to be where the entrance was. But I since expanded this like uh, kill maze. So there's a bunch more blade traps and all the wires that are crossing that you can see like here, for example, are electric wires that stop the zombies temporarily. Another pummel guy there to make a corner. And then just a bunch of rows of electric fences and the blade traps here. And then they go and snake around to get in there. And then I built this one. I just finished building this one actually before we started construction on that new one. And this one is a more straightforward um, maze here below electrical wires. It's just electrical wires because I didn't want the um, uh, zombies to get killed by the blade traps because I wanted the experience, you know? So I figured if I have them like this, they'll just come in here, get zapped on the first one, get at the next one, get zapped. And it actually worked really well for the last Horde night. Um, they barely got to like here before they all died, so that was great. And then I would be shooting them from up here. If you get the last hit, you get experience, but with the blade traps, it's kind of hard to, you know, if the zombies are running in uh, and they have that much space to work with, right? Um, some of them will get past me and I'll have to like concentrate the ones further up and the ones further back will be dying from the blade trap. And even though I do get like 50% experience, it's still not, all the experience right but uh so i was up here last horde night firing down and i figured out that that uh, not only the, the stairs but that piece right in front of the stairs there that piece right there it uh got damaged from me shooting downward at the zombies here and so i wanted to change things up a bit and so we're making basically this same bunker where i have just rows of electrical wires uh in there that'll shock the zombies and stop them from moving but I wanted to have it so that I could just shoot down from there. So we go to the new bunker here. I'm going to actually grab a couple of the fences that finished just now and grab my fire tool that I forgot about getting. If we go back to the new bunker, I can kind of show you the idea for that one. And basically when we retreat across, if we have to, we can raise these up. And then since the zombies don't have an easy way to get to this building, they'll be forced to go through the maze. And the same for that one. Once that one falls, we can raise this up. And then they have no way to get across except for getting through this huge four concrete block thick partition. Um, so they'll choose to go through the death maze instead of continuing to go through there. Right? Um, so that's kind of the, the basic premise for all the drawbridges and stuff. So if we go back down here, we can just straight shoot. We can just shoot straight across there. It's, it's beautiful. It's lovely. And then in here, we're going to be placing a bunch of these guys. Eight of the uh, electric ones to be exact. And then I'm going to put these guys here. And I'll want to build the wall up a bit more. There. So that's one, two, three. So one, two, and then three. Go. Got there. Okay, perfect. Now those nodes will be protected. And then I can take the generator, go into here. Actually, I don't need both of those nodes. I just need one, but I guess just for symmetry's sake. Uh, I'll put this here, and I can throw the generators in there, and open it up, fuel it, and get the wire tool. Okay, so I'm just going to run it over to there, and then we can run this one down to here. Thanks for the call up uh, call for the follow, uh, Carbon. All right, so this will give power to this node, which will then lead over to this node, which will then lead over to this node, right? And then we can lead this node 
over to this node and just kind of create a new zigzag. And so once we get another one, we'll move it from here over to there, there to there, there to there. Just kind of make a nice little crisscross so it's all just beautiful, right? And uh, while we're waiting for that stuff to be created, let's go ahead and finish doing this. Yeah, so one thing I found out from uh, the, the electrical traps is the zombies get resistance to the one they just triggered, it seems, but another one right in front of them will trigger again, so they'll continue to get shocked. So let's say they, uh, they get zapped by this one here. Uh, they can go forward, but then they'll get zapped by the next one. But if they just, like, their zap wears off on this one, and they stay connected to this one, they won't get zapped by it again. They'll just be able to move on. So. By having so many back to back, it'll cause them to stay slower and whatnot. And this playthrough is actually the first time I've used the electrical traps. I always thought the electrical traps were just kind of dumb and pointless. But uh, I was like, let's, let's try one of these and see what happens. This playthrough, and I was like, oh, that's what happens. And uh, I've been using them ever since. Yeah, I mean, if you if you play seven days for a while, you start trying different things out because you're like, okay, well, how could I improve this building? How could I make this building better? And what would be the better way to get the zombies to go where I want them to go? Right? Because the zombies AI, it, it's very simple. They try the quickest way to get to you. So, like, if I'm behind these bars, right? Um, these bars only have, if I hit them real quick, they have 5,000 durability, right? And this door, uh, well, for the, the, the this vault door has like 20,000 durability. So rather than trying to go through the vault door that's going to be here, uh, they'll try to go through these 5,000 concrete pillars. But I will upgrade these later to be steel bars as well. Um, and so they only have 5,000 to go through, they'll choose to go through this path rather than, say, uh, mining through this wall. Yeah, yeah. So it's not necessarily they're going to go through a straight line. Um, like if I had a maze of wooden walls, for example, like if I... this. So if I have something like this here, right, and... I was just kind of in here, right, you know? Um, the zombies, from this shape, even if they're like in front of me here, they'll probably go around to this block to attack it, since this one has corners, and if they start attacking here, they might have to hit the corner block and that block or whatever. If this one's open, the zombies will run around and come up into here, you know? Um, so, like, if I was... Let, let, I don't have enough blocks to do this real quick. Hold on. Let's make a uh, hundred more, just real quick. All right. So let's say I have something like this structure here, right? And this is where I was defending. And the zombies are spawning in front of me here, right? So rather than the zombies just running up and trying to break through this block and then this block, they're going to instead go around to this block, for example. And they're going to start attacking this one block that's in front of them rather than trying to take out these two blocks. And even if they were to try to attack this corner, which is technically closer than these two blocks, um, they're still going to have to go through two to get to me, either this one and this one, or that one and that one. So they'll try to go through the one block that they can rather than, like, the multiple blocks. But they're always trying to find the path of least resistance to you, right? And that's why having... Like, uh, this, this trap here, because they don't recognize traps, I don't think, as being obstacles for them to get to their goal. So they'll just walk through here, thinking there's nothing in their way, ignoring all the walls, trying to come to this door, um, and try to break it down. Because this door has less health than, like, all of the surrounding walls. It took a while to get the proper thickness here. But as you can see, um... 
these these uh, cement blocks, they have 5,000 health on them, right? And so uh, when you stack them up like this, the zombies need a too tall block to get through, um, ideally. And so they'll have to get through 10,000 if it's just like a, a single wall of two by two or a single wall of like two things stacked so like this. Um, even though each of these, if they're cement, would have a 5,000 health, uh, they technically together have 10,000 for them to walk through. However, if you just take the first one away and there's nothing above it, they'll just jump over it. So that's simple. That's why you go three high. Because now they can destroy this one in the middle. I'm going to take this one away. So they'll destroy the one in the middle. But they won't be able to jump through the hole very easily. Some of them can crawl through it, whatever. But most of them will be like, let's make the hole wider so we can get through easier, right? And so they'll either try to attack this one if they can, which the zombies can't hit up above them very easily. So they'll try to go for this one and take it out. So that means there's 10,000 durability there for them to take out. Um, and then if you increase the thickness, it basically just doubles from 10,000 um, in this column to uh, 20,000 to 30,000 to 40,000 to 50,000 to 60,000 durability that they'll have to break through in order to get through um, that thick of a wall, right? Because that's all just solid wall right there. There's no hollowness to that at all. So they're going to be like, oh, well, if we have to go through 60,000 compared to this door, which shows only 20,000, we're going to choose the door. And so that's what they do. They, uh, they try to find the path of least resistance. And that's why if I'm chilling over here in this one, they're going to see, oh, there's you know a bunch of thick walls or one little door and uh, whatnot. But if I go over here and raise up the bridge and the zombies are in that tunnel, they might still attack the door because they're kind of dumb. But any new ones that come, they'll run completely around and try to come through here to get me on this building. Because the only way up here is either through this thick wall and that door or that one door there. Because once they get through this door, it's just a straight shot up to me. So it's very simple, very easy. The AI, like I said, not very smart. But uh, that's just kind of how zombies are. So you can use that to your advantage to, you know, manipulate them in a way that makes it so you can kind of know where the zombies will go to. But it's a lot of trial and error, right? So basically building this has been the culmination of the failures of the other two bases. Whereas this base is, this huge base here, its failure was me not realizing that the thickness of the walls wasn't as perfect, so I didn't have the thickness quite flushed out in this one. The second base is flaw is that I kept damaging the floor, so that's why I'm making this, so I can just shoot straight, right? That's why this is going on. So, we have the rest of our electric fences. Let's go ahead and put them down. Finish running the wires, and then we can really just button everything up perfectly. All right, so the last one was here. So we're going to zigzag it over to here. We're then going to zigzag over to here, which is going to zag over to here, which is going to zag over to here, then over to here. That one. Oh, didn't connect the wire. Go. To this one, to this one, to this one, this one, over to this one, and then this one, over to this one, and then that's the final right there. So the zombies have a lot of wires to get through, and each one will be stunning them. Um, Excuse me, why are you like that? That's not how that should be. Must have messed up there. There we go. Now it's perfect. Okay. And so these are all unpowered, but if I were to go into here and turn this on, 
Let's see, it all takes in total 81 power, but if I touch them, I get zapped, I get slowed. But the zombies, rather than being able to move while they are electrocuted, they'll be stuck in place. And I'll be able to just concentrate on popping their heads as they come back. And so it'll be a nice little kill zone for me to handle. All right. But I'm going to real quick just finish surrounding these guys. Oh yeah, the uh, on a horde night, the electric traps, they will make a lot of noise when the zombies are hitting them. It's like a bug zapper, basically. So, it's always fun to listen to. Okay, so I think for right now, I'm going to hold off on doing any more building since it is day here. Let's go ahead and refuel. I'm going to put, not that, I need to go into the inventory. Go ahead and put in our reserve fuel tank mod, which then allows me to put more gasoline in. A lot of gasoline, oh my god. Uh, it can hold, does it say how much gasoline? No, but a lot, because I just put like so much more into there. Okay. First of all, Yeah, yeah, no problem. That's what it's there for. Ah, cool, cool. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, put my stuff away quick, and then we'll go out on an adventure today. Alright, store all of this. And then keep the chainsaw. I'm doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and store the metal in here. Yeah, let's put a pine cone. I need to get my impact driver. Can I make a better impact driver? No, I still don't know how to make a better one of those, but we'll put that away. Go ahead and put the there, and... Alright, let's go out and explore this new place. Rock. We have 3.5 kilometers to cover in order to get to this objective. Hopefully, we can get there quick before night happens. Yeah, so normally, uh, if you have normal settings, the hordes are every seven days. That's why the name is Seven Days to Die. Um, however, you can change it so that hordes are every anywhere between one to... I think you can actually increase it past seven days. I don't remember offhand, though. But right now, I have it set to every six days. We uh, took it down last time just because we were basically only messing around and not doing much between uh, the hordes, so... I increased it down to six. So the next one, we just had one on day 56, so we should have the next one on day 72. Um, and I'm actually thinking about adjusting it down even further to like five or three days or something. But we'll see what happens. And if, if, uh, the only thing that really stops us from successfully completing a horde is not having enough ammunition. So... We can just get enough ammunition to the point where we don't need to worry about that. Fine. And I mean, if I just have to spend a couple of days down in the uh, the old mine, 
mining some nitrate, getting some coal to make gunpowder. Then you know that's all fine and dandy. But I really, I, what the bottleneck for guns really is, is brass. So if I brought the impact driver, that way I can maybe get some radiators and stuff from the sedans, trucks that are along the way. Because brass you cannot mine. It's not great. I wish it was an easier way to get brass, but I think your only choices are to loot it, to tear apart cars, or to tear down doors to get their uh, door handles. Basically, any car we stumble upon, I'm going to try to take it apart to get that precious, precious door of brass. And also a couple more engines, since we're running low on them now. So. There we go. The cars that are already mostly torn apart, like uh, like these, I don't think they'll have radiators, so I didn't gonna bother with them. You need to cover this amount of distance before the uh, the night comes. Don't want to be caught out in the night. I can go around to the left here. I forget exactly what kind of building we're going to. It was either a skyscraper or some sort of factory or something like that. The trader, right? I might actually stop by here real quick. If they have any brass on them, I can just buy some brass. Something. Let's go with you. I want to. See what you got on you? Got any uh brass? I'll go ahead and buy your gunpowder too. Nitrate. Um, no acid is pretty precious, so I'll take that from you. No brass, sir. Really? I'll take bullet casings. Those are what I need anyway. Oh, that's from there, huh? Back on side, volume six. Do I know that one? Hmm. Back. If there's nothing else, you best be on your way. Shotgun Messiah, Volume 6. Don't know that one, I'll buy it. Well, it's about time you bought something. Go ahead and scrap the stuff that I don't need right now. I'm going to save the radiators and door knobs, because I can save those. Since I'll probably get more of them anyway. Alright, where did I park? Outside here, okay. Alright, let's continue going to our objective. I think we're going to drop off my loot before we get to go inside of the bill. Oh man, do not tell me it's that huge skyscraper. No, no, surely it's not. Well, I think I want to take apart some of these cars right here first anyway. So... has something. Come 
Come on, boss. Give me something good. Keep an eye out for any zombies that are coming towards me. Alright, we got a radiator. Got a battery, too. See you there, zombie. He died. That one there too. Let's pop it back head. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and store stuff that I do not want to take with me. And all this stuff I can hold on to because I can take more of it later. Let's go ahead and store that gas. Let's store the tokens back in here. All right, let's rock. So we have one more car here to scrap. Oh, that person there. Zombie there. There's a lady somewhere. Isn't there? Is it a guy I saw? Hmm. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, this part. There we go, another radiator. Heck yeah. Even got a little bit of acid. Oh, come on, truck, let's roll. Car? Got some money and some headlights. We'll just go ahead and scrap those. We have plenty of headlights right now. skyscraper hold oh. okay Dishong tower huh okay well once again let's go ahead and store everything that I do not want to take in with me put and scrap these doorknobs And just store everything, even the radiators. Come on, finish making. There we go, store that. All right. And actually, before we go into it, go ahead and take my vitamins. And I'm going to use some of my food. I think we need four. One, two, three, and then four here. I should get my food and water all the way up before we head into this. Okay. Let's begin. I'm not turning back now. Oh man, it's eagerly empty right here. Oh, that's an irradiated girl. Okay. She's down. Already took some damage from that, so that's not ideal. Okay. Oh, it's a crack a book. Little uh, door in here. No, crap. I think that woke some zombies up. Yep, I see him moving. Get back, lady. Right, come to me, guys. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna pop him. Oops, missed that hit. Got that one, though. Ooh See you. One more over there. 
focus on these guys quick. Right, come here, big guy. Where you at? There you are. Anyone else sneak around here? Nope. All right, looks like that's all of them for right now. Oh, hey, little guy. He just bopped you in the head a couple of times. Here we go. All right. Go ahead and loot this place real quick, like. No matter what we're getting here. I'll review it once we're done. Oops. There. Make some books there. Alright. On the counter just for safekeeping for now, and then learn everything. Already new. Already new. Already new. Nothing really new there. Let's go ahead and scrap that, scrap that, and we'll eat these rations. That, and we'll go ahead and use this yucca juice as well. Hello, sir. Oops. There we go. Alright, well, I'm not getting up there. This area, good. Nothing here, okay. Move on to the next little area. A savage country here, huh? place. Hmm. Plenty of garbage in here, huh? Kind of a crappy little office. Grab those lead weights. Go into here. It's all just clothing, it looks like. Care about any of that? That elevator's closed. That elevator's closed. Oh. Ammo. Nothing. Ice paper basket. What? Yeah. Bathroom's clear. This bathroom is also clear. It looks like. Okay. Enter's cart. That trash can. That. Oh, hello, everyone. Do it. That's right. Get out of here. All right. They are dead. Wouldn't scrap this stuff. All right. Looks like we're going up the stairs to the next area. The left first. Locked. Very secured. Here, more downstairs. Go ahead and go into this office. Loot everything here. Yeah, there, buddy. Don't think I don't. Yep. All right, we learned how to make shepherd's pie and we learned how to make a rad remover modification and a shotgun shirt, which we already know how to make. Too much. Let's go ahead and use this two aloe vera cream. Drop these worthless band aids. Hey, lady, I see you there. I'll take you out. Oh. Easy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, the door is worthless. Alright, behind this counter. Clear. Right, he's gone. We got a uh, little safe here. Go ahead and pick that lock. 
we have like a dozen pickaxes. Point not doing so. Uh, of course it broke. Seriously? Oh my god. This one does not want to open. I thought all that work for absolutely nothing. Great. Okay, well, get rid of that. Grab that. Throw this stuff here. Let's go ahead and drink this coffee. Get that out of our way. What do we got in this cardboard box? Mm, sand. Okay. Who, who hauled sand up here? What a weird thing to do. Nothing in there. Oh god, I almost just jumped down. A couple of boys over here, huh? Hop. Shoot him first. Him next. Him next. We got them all. Beautiful. Get over there. Oh, hey, lady. You certainly came out of nowhere. She come running at me from the corner. Bar. Ow. Oh, hey, big guy. I got him? Nope, he's still alive. Here we go. Let's clear this room real quick. Keeper. Yep, all right, coming over here was a waste of time. Let's scrap those ski goggles though, and I'll just drink this plastic water bottle. So now it wants us to go down here. Oh, it's gonna hurt. That's okay. Let's drop that sandwich. Actually, I can eat it since I'm covered by antibiotics. I won't get dysentery. Okay. So, what we gotta do is go up, it looks like. Or it wants us to go over here. Yeah, it wants to go over here. Okay. Can't go past there, so over there is a option. Otherwise, we can go through here. Hello, executives. maintenance real quick. Okay. All right. This is the way we got to go. Yep. Hey, y'all. I'm going to back up because I'm pretty sure some of these guys will be feral. No? None of them are? It works. Stay down. Come on. All right. Scrap, scrap. Unlock, but there's no reason to go back here. Did that open? Floor two, three. Done. Get rid of 
with that and I'll take the corn. Let's go ahead and get rid of those and I'll take the fat. Work. Um, we would need the shamway food there. So I can scrap that tin can. Here, what do we got in the trash? Sometimes they have brass in the trash, so I like to look. This. Out on the terrace. Locked. Hmm. I'm gonna really make me do this, huh? Yeah. Okay, no one's dropping from the ceiling, huh? That's how it's gonna be? No one dropping from the ceiling, okay. Gotta very carefully go around here. Oh damn. Munitions crate. Nice. Um really good much for that, though. I want to keep the cloth in case I need to make a splint. Uh, these are just spear parts, though. No, I'm not going to use those. We'll just get rid of them. Yep. Okay. Come on, you. Oh, they're hissing. It's a cock puking, okay. Where did you come from? Good? Okay. We're good. How much does this heal? 30? And I'm... 20 down. I'm gonna use this to get a bandage in my inventory there. Alright. Onward. Scrap, scrap. No, I, I wanted to scrap those. There we go. Yep. Here are the bathrooms quick. Good. Oh, hello there. Here? Oh. Just got a, uh, pistol. I'm gonna go ahead and scrap it, though. That just leads back to here. Scrap, scrap. Toss, toss. Alright, so our only way to go is over here. I think we have to climb up this. This is so janky. Holy crap. Okay. To the next room, I guess. Corner. Hello, everyone. Oops. Crap. I keep helping them out by hitting the glass of bubble. Suffering an abrasion. Oh, how dare you. Well. I'm using med kit. On that. Still have that bandage. I could have used it. Darn it. Well, health's not too low. I don't want to use a med kit just for that. I think we'll just continue going on. Oh, I could have used this to stop the bleeding. Eh. Wait, can I use this now? No, I don't have a laceration. I have an abrasion. Whatever the hell the difference there is. Oops. 
tape. Came from here, so that's fine. Ugh. I don't know why he startled me, but he did. Back up. Don't have to deal with all these guys at once. Down. Perhaps grab throw. Pick. I hear an airdrop? No. What am I hearing? Am I just hearing things? Am I going crazy? That's a dog. That's a freaking dog! Yeah. Yep. Why is there a dog on this high of a floor? Come on. Messed up, man. Okay. okay maybe I use a med kit now. Maybe the dog growling is what I was hearing before. Kind of sounds like an airdrop if you think about it. Very unfortunate for me. Okay. Bud, I'm gonna just back up a little bit. This meat in my inventory. Why don't I just use that way? This stuff. And that empty can, and I'll wrap it. What? What we got in here? Oh, another safe, huh? That's a very domestic door. Oh, or a safe's already unlocked. Okay. Oh, this is an executive bathroom, huh? Fancy. He's mad. Yep, he's dead. We load this quick. Alright, nothing in here of value. Move on. Bathroom clear. Bathroom is also clear. Back up quite a bit, to be honest. All right, he's down. One more here. There he is. Missed the first hit. Not good. Not ideal. Here we go. Got him down. Ooh. Found a splint. I actually want that, so let's go ahead and... Uh... Throw away the steroid. I never use those for anything. I have a splint. I can use it in case I get injured. And knowing me, I'll get injured near the top. Like right as it is about to fall tonight. Just how I happen to do things. I don't know how freaking hot much higher. Oh my god. This goes a lot higher. See that guy there? Let's pop his head. He woke up. Yep. 
here. Alright, we did. There's the cement mixer, take that stuff. Kinda looking up because those look like they could have a guy in them. Oh, let's move back. handled. I like to put enough distance between me and the other like special zombies to prevent them from messed up. Let's reload quick. Oh hey bud! Let's not reload quick. Actually kill these guys. I didn't think they'd come around the wall. All right. Moving on. Getting to be night. Okay, his fire is all clear. Another guy in there. Pop his head. Load. Still wait for them to come. Me. Just keep going wide. Dang crosshairs, come on. Shoot him in the throat then. Okay. Uh. And this area is all secure. Can't go through there. I see you there, buddy. Who are you, huh? Are you feral? Both of you are feral. I just want to. I think I Alright, we level up again. Let's go ahead and real quick. We're going to throw that onto Fury of Blows so we can get a uh, recharge of stamina anytime we kill someone with the, uh, the mail weapon here. Come on, candy. Um, dang irradiated zombies. All right. Quick. So much building material here, huh? Pick that guy up first. That guy up next. That guy up next. Retreat a bit. Damn it. Got to reload. Okay. The radiator boy's down. That one's down. He's down. Feral is knocked down. Now he's down. He's down too. And so is he. All right. Got looks like two and a half hours to clear this place before the enemy hordes start running. Not much wood from that. I wonder if I could easily get some wood. Harvesting that stuff, but ooh, let's go ahead and close that door while we loot this. It'll take a bit. All right, let's go ahead and eat this blueberry pie so I can fit the ammo parts here. Let's go ahead and drink the yucca juice. This. Of course, the empty can spell, but that's fine. Uh, let's use this bandage. Okay. Let's not go. Door. 
Your strats. That one's open. All right. To the elevator I go, I guess. Okay, we're way up high, huh? No, ho, ho, ho. Oh my god, I almost fell. Jesus. Going up one floor here, huh? Okay. It's coming quickly. A couple of irradiated boys over there. This area right here is pretty linear. Nice for us. Let's see if I can hit this guy on one hit. Nope. Oh god. I gotta go. Reload real quick while they're down. Into this hallway. You done? Okay, all of them except for him are. Okay, now they're done. Perfect. Make sure we're reloaded. Wasn't expecting that many irradiated guys at once. You got anything good from this? Temple parts? Yeah, I don't care anymore. We have an hour 30 before night falls. Close that for a second here. Uh, I'll be That door. Search the other bathroom quick. Or two. All right, that door. Shit. I'm gonna go. Reload. Be at least one more irradiated. There he is. He's just an idiot, so it's fine for me. Go, got him. Survey the area here. Everything looks clear. Zombies came from out here, though. This is the way I gotta go now. Yep. Close that real quick. Got here. Some scrapping stuff, okay. Gunpowder. Goes in the trash. Cloth, okay. Stairs going upwards there. Area doesn't matter. Up the stairs we go. God, we're almost to the roof, I think. It is. Bro. Oh.
Yep. Handled. Somehow. Fantastic. We gotta go. We gotta move. Where'd you come from, dude? Skinny bastard. Alright, now's the time to use a med kit. I don't know how I didn't like injure myself or anything here, but it works. While we're messing around, let's go ahead and repair my guns. They're getting into a state that I'm not quite comfortable with them being in. And night's about to happen, so that's not great. Oh no, just put me right back down there. That's not cool. Okay. Um I think I'm gonna get rid of the glass. So I can pick up those shotgun shells. Um Oh yeah, let's take that slow. Okay. Into the ceiling. Oh. night, so everything's going to start running at us now. We'll try to be a little more quiet than usual. He's already dead. Hit that guy, I can. Back off a little. I already shot. Get up on stage so I can see a little bit better here. He needs to die. Okay. You can see a lady's foot there. Can I hit it? Not from this angle. Let's hit this guy first. Okay. Go hit her head, hell yeah. Oh, that should be everyone here. Put the arrows back, lady. An arrow. Okay. I'm gonna assume these don't open. Nope. That means it wants me to go through here. Do our best to be quiet. Oh, hey. Stop it. Stop being loud. Okay, handled. Open this up. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this right away. Anything in the dishwasher? Sometimes they have brass, so I wanted to check. Ooh. Use that. Charcoal. Okay, I'll take it. Bother eating that. Crap. Anyone else wake up because of that? Hmm? Anyone else want a piece? Right now? Or are we good? We're good. Okay. And you on. I don't like this door being open. Let's close that one. How? How did you not get up from the cop getting shot, sir? Oh, whatever. Handled. Doesn't like anyone else is in here, so let's break these open quick. Ugh. Alright. 
Um, air. Um, let's get rid of the coffee beans that I'm never gonna use. Ooh, now that's food right there. Um, I'm gonna use all this. I don't murder like full on food and basically water at this point, but I'm gonna use this stuff real quick and then. Let's just drop... Actually, I think I can put the improved fitting mods on something. Can't I? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Already got improved fitting there. Improved fitting's already there. Improved fitting's already there. And okay, I already have improved fitting everywhere, so I can just get rid of this. I don't need it. Give me that uh, hobo stew, because that's really good food. Okay. I feel like zombies could drop from above any time now. Hmm. Yep, this is a thing right here. I'm going to be extra cautious since it is nice now. Does I think that that's just a corpse, not a zombie. No need to worry. A lot of red dots here, though. Take this slow. Probably get out of here. Well, that didn't work. Yep, handled. How much more ammunition I got? All right, I got about three magazines left. No, not three. 14 divided by... Two is seven. I have seven mags left. Fine. That works for me. Oh, I don't have any spare acid. What is this? Baton parts? Get rid of all. I don't use batons. Ooh. There's a, okay. There's munitions. Oh my god. Just iron arrows, really? That's what was that? Crap. What are we on this cart? Bottle of wa'a. Okay. It looks like it wants me to go up here now. What is this? Hunter mod schematic. What does that even do? The hunter mod schematic. It does more damage to animals. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. I think we're at another floor that's full of just construction stuff. Those shoes, I was like, oh crap, what the hell's that? Yeah, there's nothing. I'm gonna guess there's someone behind here. Yep. Go ahead and do that. Got him. Situation handled. Steel armor parts. Go ahead and throw those on the ground. Go ahead and notch a new arrow. It doesn't look like they can fall through that ceiling, so I think we should be okay. I can't get past there, which means we have to go through here. Also looks pretty secure. Oh, oh they're going to come through that box. No, no one's in there? Okay. Okay.
I don't know why I personally get quieter when uh, it's nighttime. I'm gonna scrap the, the money. Need the money. Arrow back. Clear. Clear. That's clear. Okay. Locked. I think someone's hiding in there. I guess so. The fact that I haven't seen a single zombie yet is really throwing me off. There hasn't been a single zombie on this floor yet. This side. Nope. Okay. Yeah, there's no way they can fit in there. How about that? Yep. I, I missed his head somehow. Okay, though. Could be another one behind them there. Inside of that wall, it looks like. If I just bash that, I'm not gonna wake up, right? There he is. Let's get a clear shot. Am I stuck on? Okay, whatever. Got him. Nice. Maybe that was all the guys on this floor. I don't know. Go ahead and drink this juice though and throw away that corn meal. Plenty of wood, excellent. Just how much further do we have left to go? Oh my god, we have so much further left to go. This is... We got shale, I don't need that. I, I can get plenty of shale if I need it. The good news is it's almost morning. So... Sneak around here. I see a guy there. Well, I can't hit him without destroying the glass. So I should probably wake him up. Wake him up anyway. That's okay. I think he's the only one here right now. Dash his brains in. All are good. Moving on. I'm gonna back away. They're all normal zombies over this guy. This is a feral right there. Oh, that was the head of a feral I already killed. All right. Got your new arrow. Bunch of nails, huh? Hey, bud. You uh really came after me trying to get my my knees, didn't you? Kind of freaking not okay. Okay, there's gonna be some more right there and there. Yep, I knew it. Ooh, hit it out of the park. That one not so much. Now he's dead though. Funny, there's already trash in the waste paper baskets, even though this is a new place, you know? Kind of funny. Alright. Back to sneaky sneaky. Alright, more acid. Excellent. What can I even use with acid? Just car battery. Um... Yeah, nothing actually all that important, except for the Grandpa's Learn and Elixir, which would be great to have, since it increases your, uh, um, 
experience gain for like four minutes. Okay, so we got this out here, huh? Looks like we're at the elevators now, so we don't have much to worry about at this point. Let's go ahead and just use that. At least they're keeping us nice and topped off in terms of uh, food and water. Very nice of them to do so. Where am I going from here? No way it wants me to, like, go out here. Oh, it does. Hmm. It does. Oof. Um, I'm not sure I can do that without hurting myself. Ooh, barely. Freaking barely. All right. I had to guess there's some behind this counter, more than likely. Okay. Nope, I don't see anyone. Okay. Let's give this a, a nice high breath here so we can go over to this side where there's the wall. Oh, that looks good. Beverage cooler. I'll take the beer. Need it to make first aid kits, apparently. How a beer is used for a first aid kit, I don't know. But, uh, apparently is. Yes. Both unlocked. I'm gonna close that door first. Check out this one. Okay. Let me close that door again. Open this one up. Go to the trash so I don't make a noise when I step on it. Actually, don't I have a perk to not do that now? Alright. Definitely gonna be zombies between the divider there. I have a feeling. Let's go ahead and shoot that one. Do it again. One more time. Once more with feeling. Maybe not. Okay. Really? I only got one of my arrows back? Kind of rude. Can't see one from here. Get this trash. Get that guy. One more right there. Get on the ground, sir. Alright, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Excellent, it is now daytime. Now give no shits about being quiet. Let's go, let's clear this place. Let's make them regret being born. Oi! Wake up, losers! Oi! Really? Can't jump while aiming. Yes. Howdy, folks! the ground with you. Crap and eat that. Okay. You guys got anything good in your cubicles? I'll have some wood. Take that. Looks like we're going out this window. Lovely. Yeah. Oh boy. If I can, I might as well stealth kill a couple.
Is that a... That's not a zombie. That's just a corpse. Okay. Well. One in that room. Can't see his head, though. Walk over here. That's a closed area. I think I can hit his head from here. Just take a second. And fire. He's going to be on the other side there. So right there. Last one. Right in the dick. Ah. Dick shot didn't kill him. Okay. Go ahead and recover my arrows. Precious, precious arrows. What's in the cooler? Oh, yucca juice. I will take that. Nash just has that in it. Okay. Go ahead and get my arrows back from that guy. We have one, two, three more floors. And then five if you count the rooftop. Oh my god. What a mess this is. This is daytime now, huh? Supplies. Just gonna honey. Okay. Hey guys. Fuck on. jump over here get to this room nice any actual books oh a nail gun schematic and a pumpkin cheesecake recipe that's pretty poggers and then i can also unlock this safe and i swear to god if you break more than three of my lock picks i'm busting you open the old-fashioned way what's that all that machete parts. Don't even really need. All right. Get out of here. Clear. Oops. Clear. Clear. Hmm. These are the stairs that we can't take. Anyone wake up because of the auger? Oh. Do it, sir! Do not do it! Oh, 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 oh. That was close. Okay. That went okay. Could have been better. Definitely could have been better. I just learned a, a sniper and a uh, rifle schematic there. Nice. I can back here. Nope, no safe. Huh? They like to put safes behind picture frames, so. I like to check. All right, I don't think I'm gonna get up there from here. So we gotta be a normal way to get up there. All right, come on, rocket launcher schematic. Okay, not what I'm looking for because I don't use those at all. Uh, basic sensor schematic. Nothing good. Shame this place is so high up here. 
actually got some good recipe books. I'm it. God, they just die already. Crap, she's dead. Scrap, scrap. Rid of those. Do I need bullet tips? No. Bullet tips are one thing I don't really care about. Because I can easily get them just from lead. Easy peasy. We got another room with some loot in it there. Probably gonna be some people here. Yep. Come on, you sir, you're next. I was just talking about the one in the distance, didn't see the one close up. Okay, first of all, rude. What do you got, sir? How much can you use both of these? Yep. And what does this one have? Up to scrap and a blood bag, which I have any useful. A little bookcase here. Ooh, a hunting knife schematic, and I learned how to make cotton seeds. I think I already knew both of those, but cool nonetheless. Ammunition. I'm going to turn off my flashlight. I don't need that anymore. Grab the money. Grab the brass trophy. We're getting a lot of brass. We've already got 600. Is nice. Also got a lot of paper, 300 paper so far. Let me scrap the springs. Can't take those with me right now. Okay. Close. That's closed. And we're climbing up there apparently. Okay. Well, before we do anything else here, bookcase. Okay, nothing. God, we are so high up. Look at that guy down there. Got him. Anyone else I can shoot from up here? I don't see anyone else. All right. Oop. All right. We have one, two, three more floors counting the roof. Jeez Louise. Absolutely insane. This is way too high up. There's a clinic on this floor? Why wouldn't you have a clinic like closer to the ground? That way it's easier to transport patients and evacuate them in the event of, you know, bad stuff. I wouldn't close that. I'll deal with these two we got through. Oh, I fucked up. Wait, stop it. God damn, okay. Do I have anything that can heal me right now? Other than the first aid kits, because my health's a little bit low thanks to all that. Right there. I don't have any food other than this, but that's 64 food worth that I don't want to spend. So. We're gonna go ahead and ignore our injuries for right now, which is not necessarily a good thing currently to do, but what are you gonna do? Oh, hi. <laughs> Use you, sir. I was hoping I'd do more damage. Suffered an abrasion, bro. Oh, make it time, I guess. Okay, before we go through there, let's clear this room first. Yeah, elevators and such. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there's nothing else here. Oh, there's books actually. Let's walk right over them. 
I it looks like she's just like lounging up against the wall. That's nice. Good for her. Just a break room. Is a locker room? I guess for the nurses and stuff to change into and all that. Hey, we even got some aloe cream, which I'll just use right now. Which actually, now that I think about it, could have probably been used to treat that abrasion instead of my med kit. But I know I'm just a I'm just a guy. Okay. This room. Even less in here. Honest? But we do have a way through here. That's good. Oh, no room in the queue, huh? What am I fucking scrapping? It's taking so long. Oh, apparently something that I don't have room for. So that. Great. Okay. Chemistry set. Testosterone. Let's get rid of that. I don't need that stuff. Lead and a bone. Hmm. And we're gonna go through this wall hole. Okay, and we're gonna go here. Open up the floor. Okay. Oh. Well. Are you going around the corner, dude? Asshole. Okay, a lot of zombies just woke up here. Um, I'm gonna go in this office, where it's relatively easy to funnel them all to. Scrap that steel. Can't do anything else with it right now. That's right, get fucked here! Get off the ground, man. Okay. Books. Let's... Okay. One more zombie there. Safe here. Okay, let's deal with the zombie first, then. Bye, bud. Bye, bud. Alright. Safe. Time. Safe. Time. You break my lock and I break you open. Let's go. Alright. You asked for it. Use and scrap. I right, use that and take the beer. Here. Nothing here. Anyone over here? No. Oh. Nope, nothing there. Okay. Uh, purse, please. I loot you. Thank you. Couple of untouched desks. Come on. Here's the desk. Uh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it was clear. And then pick the lock because it's not closed. Oh, very lewd. Okay. We're just gonna have to sneak around here. Hey you guys. Oh, didn't see that second one there. We done? Hmm? Okay. No! Okay. Thank god the uh the loot dropped, because I'd have been upset if I would have destroyed that for no reason. Let's get rid of the animal fat. And I'll take that. Okay. 
What about the trash bin? Plastic. Okay. Got any books around here or anything? Nope. Got elevator, elevator that we can't get into. So we're going around this way, I guess. Oop. Up this ladder. This is dangerous. Okay. They're both corpses. No reason to shoot them. I do see some ammo crates and stuff back there, so that might be the lewd hair. Lewd? The loot area. I wish it was a lewd area. Nice. For all this zombie killing. We got a uh, locked steel door there. I guess iron door, not steel. Still. Back there. Go ahead and break this door. Hello there. Yeah, it's, it's already been so long since we came in here. Like, so freaking long. We gotta go. I'm gonna break through this real quick. So much help. And look at that. Well, I guess that unlocked that, huh? We got some boys coming. From above? From below? I don't. Back away a little. Here a vulture too. They all sprint to the right. So my pistol is not reloaded. That would have been really bad. What the hell? How'd you get to here, my dude? Where did he come from? I guess we'll stay here. Oh, oh God. This could be bad. If they're all jumping off there. Um, if they're jumping off, it's gonna have I'm gonna have to go down and search for them. Those guys dealt with. She's handled. He's dead. He's dead. Get this cop next. I'll go in there, officer. Come back. Are you kidding me here, bro? This is definitely not ideal right now. Of course I had to reload right there. Unfortunately, this quest is a clear quest, which means I have to kill everyone. So if any get away... 
It's not gonna be good. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Take this guy out. Okay, he's down. Yep, that happened. Broke my goddamn leg. Oh, this is why I have a splint. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. time. Where's this one red dot at? Is it above or below? Where's the thing would tell me? If it's somewhere, it's either there or there. So... I get out of here. This the correct way before? Yeah, I think I went through here, over through here, back through here. We had to jump up through here to get through here. Ow. Of course, it had to be a leg injury and not like a, an arm injury, too. Arm injury would have been much simpler to deal with. Head on through here. Hopefully that dot did not fall all the way down to the ground or one of the other levels down below, because that would be very bad for us. Regardless, let's just get where we're going. Finish clearing this area. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Mm. All right, books. Use I could use a silencer mod is what I could use. Like a uh, bouncer, not not just a mod, but like something to like learn how to craft silencer. You know? Look, hardened chest. We do this the easy way or the hard way. It's completely up to you. What's up? All right. Learn to craft metal chain modifications. Okay. okay. Ooh, a burning shaft mod, finally. A food bundle mod. Okay. Let's go ahead and I'm going to use this. I'm going to take this burning mod. And I think I can actually modify this. Can't I? No. Um. Unfortunate. Well, I don't really need a Bernie mod then. Never mind. Um, let's go ahead and scrap those. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a medkit on myself to heal. I'll just toss the rest of this medkit away. Um, let's get. I need scrap anything. I'm not gonna use these steel knuckle parts. Let's take that. And then, what else do I have that I don't really need? I mean, I guess I have sand, which is easy enough to get. So let's get the food bundle. And then I'm not going to use machete parts. Go ahead and just take the steel uh, or silver nuggets, you know? 
Just gonna pull, get rid of the murky water. Um go ahead and just drink these coffee. Yep. Ooh, steel arrowheads, huh? Ah. Wish I had my weapon for expense. Get rid of the coal. I'm just gonna scrap the steel arrowheads. We don't need them that badly. And then we have just a bunch of food here, which I'll just eat. Drink. Fully increase everything here. Use. 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 This is ridiculous. Uh, use, and I'll just throw away the berries. Go ahead and use those. Do that. Use the aloe vera. Take all that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Another little bit of the quest dash. Toss, toss. Okay. Now then. Hey okay, guys. I'm just gonna. Wait here for a second, make sure none of you are runners, and take it down. Got it. Easy. At least there are still some zombies around my area here. So the main concern for me right now is the ones that have fallen. If they died upon impact, perfect. If they did not, that's not great for us. Um, rid of the cloth. I think, I think. Ah. Nowhere to run here. We're going back through here. Where am I going now? Am I going out this window? Looks like I'm going out the window. My foot's never going to heal. Scrap, scrap, scrap. Oh, I can't scrap that. Get rid of it. Wait, what? Surely that's not where I wanted me to go. You want me to... No, surely not. You just jump. I'm not gonna fall down, so just jump up here. Oh, stairs. Duh. The problem is gonna go out here again, to this roof. I can't climb that anyway, so point worrying about that. I know running and stuff is gonna hurt my leg more, but I'd rather run and finish this sooner rather than later. Boy, zombies! Any of y'all that are hiding, just come out so I can kill you. Doesn't it be like this? This was where the loot room was, where I probably was supposed to drop down at. There's still a bit here to search, though. That room. Did I come out of that room? Yeah, I did. So, can I open this? I can. And there is nothing inside. What a surprise. Okay. Ah, shit. This means I have the very, very not great task of going down each floor and searching for these damn zombies.
Well, do it, I guess. Anyone on this floor? There you go. Okay, that's one. Another two over on this side, it looks like. Go ahead and just drop down a little. Hear him. Get behind this wall. Try to get around here. This is one of those stupid ones where it's way, way, way. There we go. There they are. Hey! Stop doing that and come get me. I think you guys are the last two ones here left alive. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! Aha! Okay. Now we just gotta get the hell down. Um. I didn't even notice that there. Hold on. Uh. We're going for this. Yep. Hello, red munition chest. What's that? On the floor at this point. Okay. Down to here. Okay, and then let's just drop down onto this one. Yep, ouch. Can I just drop down onto this? Yep, and then can I do the same thing and just keep going down like this? Oh my god, this is nice. Zombies around before I get down. Yep, we're good. My car is on this side. Yeehaw! We have lived to fight another day. God, that was a mission, huh? Actually, before we do anything. I want to fuel up the truck and store about everything that we have here. I'm gonna bring out my tokens so that way I can trade with the traders when we come to them. And then we'll just continue to look for whole cars along the way. Uh, scrap them as we come to them. Oh. Can go this way? Man, that was an ordeal. Like, I did not expect it to take us that long to do that, nor did I expect me to be an idiot and. Okay, that works. I'm trying to destroy that, but okay. And like I was saying, nor did I expect us to... Where was that airdrop at? Oh god, it's way away. We're not even dealing with that. Not right now. Maybe eventually. But we have not gotten anything decent out of airdrops. Almost ran past this car. That was monologuing. But we haven't gotten anything decent from an airdrop so far. All we've gotten was just trash. Like, last time we got seeds, for god's sake. You can't even use seeds for anything right now. It's just so inefficient to do so. And this lady needs to get shot in the head because she's just annoying me. Okay. Reload and move on. I think this car on our left we can scrap? Yep. Not today, sir. Search this, and we'll scrap it. Alright. 
Moving on. I said moving on. As long as we get back to the uh, vendor before night falls, we'll be in business. Oh, come on. Here's something. God, talk about missing. Okay, another brass radiator. Oh yeah, you love to see it. That was rock. Now we gotta get through this town. I have a question. Have I have I been to that town before? I have not been. Okay. That's another new town that we have found, I guess. Got him. more bullet for that lady right there. She even stopped for me. What a nice lady. Right, let's go. Alright. Back in the desert. Passing through the small, dinky little town, I think. Small one? No. This is still one of the bigger ones here, too. Okay. Well, shoot. Air there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Have to swerve this way and then go to the right again. Actually, a little less than four hours because they close at 22. No, they close at 21:50, right? The traders. So let's not worry about ours for right now. I just want to make sure we get home first. The trader. We can turn in this quest, and I can buy more brass and anything that they have that would have brass or gun parts. Bit of vulture. No one cares. Okay, that. Here's the little town that has like nothing in it. Swerve around here to avoid that fence. Can we just reach this tree? Nope, we cannot. The tree was not weak enough for us to just smash through. Go over here, though. Lights, come on. We're getting pretty close now. I think we can sacrifice this car. Yeehaw, baby. We leveled up. Nice. Before I get back in the car, any other zombies around, we can just pop real quick. There's a fox. I might as well shoot that. I said I might as well shoot that. There we go. He's dead. Yep. Go. I am going to bother harvesting it. Another car right here. Go ahead and take it. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh, zombie there. Hey, buddy. Yeah. What a thought. I want to scrap one of these real quick. So it's going to give us 187 brass if we scrap one. I think they're worth more if we put them in the furnace to melt down, to be honest. So I think we'll hold off on any more of the just scrapping the things, which is why I was holding off on scrapping the four as well. I wasn't sure if it was more efficient to put them in the furnace. I was going to say forge, but it came out with furnace. So I put furnace. That's how that came out. Anyway. It's more effective to put them in there than to uh, scrap them by hand, so might as well hold on to them. Even though apparently they only stack to five. Alright. Practically at the trader now, so I have to do another turn here. We'll have made it. Hell yeah, brother. Alright, so, after we talk to the trader, turn our stuff in, let me make sure I have enough room, still. Because looting stuff takes quite a bit of space, especially with cars, because you get batteries and engines and stuff like that. Oh, hey, you're, uh, well, that's really loud, huh? you, friend. Here How's it going? Go, friend. Um, I can get a sniper rifle? Just say the word. Compared to my lover action is... I think it's better. Because my lever action has more stuff on it. No, I'll, I'll just get a sniper rifle. You got any more jobs? I'll take this patch of clear. Got a closer skyscraper than last time. What you got to sell, sir? Motion sensor, double barrel, lock picks, forged steel, large pipes, cash register, um, sink, gunpowder. I'll take your gunpowder. Uh, iron arrow, HE rockets, bullet tips. I think I have plenty of that right now. Um, here are corn, dirty glasses, yada 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 yada. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. How about this? Fireman's Almanac 5. Four times scope schematic. Thanks for shopping here. Come again. I don't know that, so I'll, I'll learn that one. Um, and then Fire's Almanac, Volume 5. I just need Volume 1, so... Go ahead and give me the, uh, the Sight Schematic. I don't know that. And then let's search the rest of your stuff once again. Double check, you don't have anything you're holding out on me for. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah, that looks like a little bit. Well, sir. I'm just gonna... Loot all your stuff real quick. I think I currently already have one of these on. Hmm. Do not. Um, let me just toss this in the ground and take that, and then I will modify this and put on Bandolier, and what does Improved Fittings do? More Stamina? Do that, yeah. I'll go ahead and just wear this. Hey sir, you want to uh, buy this armor? Thank you. Oops. Oh, hold on. Gotta loot the rest of your stuff. I'd rather have the military uh, gear instead of the, the heavier steel gear that makes noise when I move. Oh, I got a ratchet out of that. Ooh. Just scrap that ratchet. There we go. Also scrap these. Uh... Right there. Okay. Now then, refuel. I'm gonna go ahead and just store my stuff in here again. Because before we go back home completely, we're gonna go grab more vehicles. And what better place to start than over here with this military vehicle? 
I can also get some zombie kills. These boys. Yep. They're all dead. I can also just loot all their stuff too, which is nice. Alright. Army truck, you always have nothing in it. Still have nothing in it. God, do I love to see consistency. Every single time I've looted an army truck, it has just had nothing in it at all. The only thing it's useful for is becoming fodder for my material hunting. Oh, also, I leveled up, didn't I? Let's spin that level real quick. Um, so we got that. We can go Trigger Man, which increases hip fire accuracy and having no movement penalty when reloading, which is huge. It is absolutely huge. Um, yeah, we'll go with that for right now. Perfect. And finish that. Okay. That. Go ahead and chop this wood. Get some free easy wood. Alright. And hunt down some more cars. We got this working this stiff one right here. Knock it off, sir. Huh? Could have just survived a little longer, but instead, you just had to come at me, didn't you? Oh, hey there. Hey, buddy. Lady over there too, huh? Not anymore. Let's just real quick search this place. Once we're here. Alright, I put that there before. Got. Not bad. What are you hissing at down there? You leaky bastard. Oh. I'm gonna leave him down there. I don't want to deal with that right now. Um Take a journey down this road here. Get a car right there already. Okay. It is going to be night here in like just a couple minutes. Converge, man. Okay, I'm also going to just scrap this one. Just for the hell of it. Oh, I can actually loot it. I thought it was one that was like too far gone, but I might actually get a radiator from it. Or maybe not. You know how it is. Alright. I think just any any little car bit that we have, I might as well do. Get rid of that. Just to make it so I'm not like, is that something I could loot or not? And then just be like, oh, I could lose. I do think I want to loot the cop shop too. So, let's go ahead and back up here. Okay. Go ahead and throw this stuff in here. Okay. Then I might as well just use this two aloe that I have. First things first. I'm gonna jump up here. That way I can put these guys in the freaking dick. Yep. Let's loot this. Alright, there's the 
anyone else around right now. I see you over there, sir. Crouch and take him down. All right. Grab this boy. For the cop shop. Okay, let's go ahead and just mine this bad bull. Oh wait, we can just jump through there, huh? Let's go ahead and repair that auger. And jump on through here and close this door first of all. Hey guys, get up! <laughs> Good. Pretty sure there's a cop in there as always. Yep, let's go ahead and just close that door. Not be able to close that door, of course. Gun rack stuff, like this. Yep. You just stay right there, cop. I don't care about you. Door. We'll also close this door. Then you should be up there, right? Okay. Go ahead and get in the corner here. Loot everything we can. Grab that. Um. Hoo -hoo, I learned how to make antibiotics. Heck yeah. And I learned the gyrocopter chassis schematic. Nice. Which means I can make a gyrocopter now. Excellent. And that is everything looted here in the cop shop. All right, I guess while we are here, I might as well kill this cop too. Okay, he's dead. Rocket launcher parts, huh? Go ahead and scrap that and take those. Alright. Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Oop. Oop. Alright. Storage. Go ahead and store everything we can. Alright, perfect. And then, let's see. Go ahead and get rid of that. I'll go ahead and drink the golden rod tea. Eat the cat food. I don't need a couple of fittings for that. Crack that mod too. I don't need that one. All right. And you're looking for cars. Don't believe there were any cars down that way. Ow. What am I, vehicle? Come on, it's rude. Nothing else down this way, so let's go ahead and go to this back road. Well, let's try to find at least two more cars. Then we can head back home for the night. Go down this alleyway. 
<laughs> Hotel have me parked outside? There's a broken one there, but I'm not going to deal with that. Uh, yeah, I will now, though. Get on top of our car. Any zombies around? I see him. Got him. That should be everyone in the vicinity, so let's go ahead and take this apart. Nothing good out of that. How about here? Take on these two cars. Turned around where I'm at. No radiator. I'm trying to run. Got my legs broken. This should give me a radiator, I think. Maybe? Nope. Of course not. You want some, sir? Okay. That's all. Scrap that. Scrap that. Take apart this crook. Oh. Suddenly, it got me in the legs. All right, let's take out this vehicle right here too. Okay, I think we're good for now. We managed to get a couple of radiators. We'll just finish going around this little loop here. We'll see any more? We'll loot them. If not go on. We'll just grab this real quick, just to get out of the way of the street. Okay. Let's go home. Why is my truck pulling to the right? Now it's pulling to the left? Now what in the blazes? Is it because it's damaged? Bit. Yeah. Right. I had no issues until now. Now it's straight. Right. Yeah. But we're pretty much straight now. I was gonna get that car, but then there was a zombie here, so I didn't want to deal with it right now. This one I might do though. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, 
dropped a bottle of acid. Well, that's just not going to stand. Let's go ahead and scrap that battery and I'll just pick that up. Thank you. Rock. All right. Home, sweet home. All right. Let's go ahead and fill her up. Let's go ahead and take everything that I can, even though I didn't mean to do that because it took some stuff that I didn't want it to take. Like those and God, what what did I have here? I think it was. I think it was bullets. Yeah. I'll throw the AP rounds in here. That's Oops. Okay, let's grab another engine. All right, here we go. All right, I keep running and it's hurting my leg. Let me close that. All right, home sweet home. We can just relax here until my leg gets finished and sort through our loot. Do what we can. All right, so let's go ahead and throw in one of our brass radiators here. Let's turn that furnace off, because that's just wasting time now. Why is that not stacked with that? Why? It should have. Go ahead and scrap that. All right. Uh, store everything. And then do it again. Okay, tools. Let's go ahead and throw this back into there. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna scrap that pickaxe. To be honest, I don't need to have that anymore. Um, put my lead in there. So do that. Turn on. Oh, it wasn't stacked because I moved it off. That's that's right. I'm I'm done. Right. Right. Door. Door. Any other medical supplies I have here? Nope. Right, so go ahead and store that. Then pipe. This oil. This metal. Food, we'll store that. That. I think that's all. I can store this play there too. All right. Parts to manufacture things, we'll store it there. For all the batteries and the engines, lights. Right, I need to pick up my a stack of this. Yo. My gun's still loaded. It's still loaded. Perfect. Alright. Ammo materials go there. Alright, excellent. While that stuff is burning, liquefying into metal, go ahead and run out here and I'll just, oops, I don't know why I said I'll run out here, considering I'm hurting myself. I'm gonna go ahead and store that there. Oh, there's a damaged tile in here. Weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and get the rest of our gear. Probably won't be able to carry all of it again, but take what we can. Got it all? Okay. Excellent. there. I will have to start producing stuff for us while we're liquefying stuff as well. All right, store everything. Oh, okay. Store that. Put the stones there. Iron engines can go up here. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there. 
Um, modifications, that goes there. Got a new weapon, which I'll put here. Okay. <clears throat> Aid can go here. Potato. Go ahead and open up this food box, and it's... Dang! And gumbo stews, okay. That's an amount, huh? Alright. I got a lot of shotgun shells from that building, too. God dang. Impressive. Normal pistol ammo, and the... Big pistol ammo. That in there. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and move this so I have room for the gumbo stew there. And I, I might as well plant all the seeds that I have just to get them out of here. Is that all? I think that's all the seeds, yeah? Yep. Somehow that's all the seeds. I don't know how, but apparently it is. I think I have more hop seeds here, though. Oh, no. The rest of my seeds are in here. Excellent. I'll take all of those and up the cell. We'll toss that in there. Daytime! Yay! All right. First, let's go ahead and plant our, our seeds up here. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Super corn gets planted there. Aloe gets planted there. We got potatoes there. Pumpkins and blueberries. That's everything. Oh, alrighty, daddy. Let's go grab the last of our stuff from our truck. should be everything that I want to take. We are getting hungry. I'm actually surprised that our uh, thing hasn't said, hey, you're hungry. Your stamina is low. Please deal with this immediately. Oh, whatever. Close that door. All right, let's store the rest of these radiators in here. Make more bullet casings again. There it goes. Okay. Put the cell, toss that there. Got some parts, so toss them in there. We have a lot of engines and batteries now. Let's go ahead and sort this, actually. Ah, perfect. So much better looking. Okay. We have that. We have that. Excellent. Cool, 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 cool. Go ahead and put the fair brass we had in there to get that producing. All right, so now we need to eat a little bit of food. So I think what would what are our best options to be to eat right now? Uh, we do have this uh, hobo stew, which does sixty four, which honestly it's just taking up a spot in our inventory. Let's go ahead and do this. Perfect. I'm not sure how much that'll go across the bar, so we'll stop for there. The rest of these shotgun shells out here. There. I didn't learn to make... What did I learn to make? I could make the gyrocopter, but do I need to make one? I kind of like what I currently have already. And, yeah. What else did I learn to make on this excursion? Did I learn to make any more mods? I don't think I did. At least nothing too useful that stood out. Robotic drone. I could make one. What do these do? Crafted from robot parts and scrap, the auto drone is the ultimate companion in the apocalypse. It'll heal you and carry some items. Does it follow me? Like, I know I can put, like, a healing thing on it, but... 
How does it work? It says it's a companion, but does it like just follow me around and stuff, or does that work? Okay, we can eat a little more. We can eat the peas. Eat the chili. Okay, let's do that. And then that. Move some stuff around here. That. Um. Okay. Go ahead and eat this uh, country stock, or can of stock, so we can get a little bit more. Okay. Should be fully filled there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. All right, I think that should be... I don't know why cotton's in here, to be honest. Uh, it's a little bit weird. But, yeah. Maybe we should go on a, a an expedition to fill up our water bottles to get more water so we can actually make some more stuff. You know, that might be what we want to do. Think about doing. Put that there. Okay. Excellent. We're getting some more bullets and stuff now. Oh, yeah. How's this look? Oh, man, we're fucking crazy on this stuff. Okay. Uh, how much steel can I make? A thousand. Hmm. Let's go ahead and craft that. And then since we are now out of metal, we'll go ahead and put this in here, and that'll help us to continue producing stuff there. All right. How much cement can I make here? 900. Not much. Fine. Leave that off. Oof. We're getting a lot of brass. That's very nice. We're going to be able to make a bunch of uh, weapon stuff. Okay. So what I would like to do now, I think we need to plant some more trees, because we are getting low on wood, you know? And while sure... I said that, you know, having a bunch of trees planted was kind of going to be weird. I didn't want them obscuring the landscape, as long as it's not on my property. It would be fine. So let's go ahead and just plant a bunch here, right? That would be great. Again, I wish there was a lawnmower so I could just, like, get rid of stuff. Like this freaking chrysanthemum that's in the way. I don't think I'm going to be able to plant all 400 of these trees, but I'll at least plant a good amount of them, so when they do mature and harvest them, um, it'll be good to do. I might just go up into that forest and then cut down some of those trees while we're at it, and then I'll do a return trip afterwards. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Get planted, you bastards. Come on. Another chrysanthemum lies in my way. The chrysanthemum, not the go by on grass. Ugh. Come on now. Go. Seriously, I hope the, the devs at some point add a lawnmower. It'd be great. Or, like, even if it's just like an attachment to. Um, like a vehicle, that'd be great. I would love to see that. I'm gonna just get rid of a bunch of grass. There's gotta be a mod for it too, right? There's gotta be like a mod that lets you do that. A couple of trees left on my property, I'm gonna take them down. I'll get some rocks while I'm at it. Look at that nest I did. Back here. Where was the half a tree that I was making? Over here. Next. All right, so let's continue. Uh, make sure we're in the right row. 
go. Go. There we go. The bird nest. Nice. Even got an egg. Excellent. Love to see it. There. Okay. There and there. Okay. Now we'll do another row back. And it will take like a couple of days for this to happen. In fact, it might be after next horde night before we can actually harvest any of these trees. Uh, just because of how many there are. Oh, the bird nest. Oh, another egg. Excellent. It would be cool if you could like domesticate chickens to get eggs. That'd be cool. I know these aren't going to be like symmetrical or anything because of all the stuff in the way, but it's fine. It's whatever. Man. Maybe one day I'll be able to sort them all out. Okay. Almost there. All right, and we are back to the start. Okay. Do another row. Then we'll do one more back. All that good. Four rows of trees, I think, is enough. By that time, we'll have play, planted 100 trees, so I think it's fair. If I just spam right click, maybe it's going to be faster if I do that. Can I place one like right underneath me? No, I cannot. Okay. I was hoping if I could do that, I could just like look down and then place on the first available slot, but apparently not. We got a ways to go. The bird nest. Hello there. Click, 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 clickety click. Click and click and click as fast as I can. I think running would be too much. Doesn't want to let me do it. Does it seem a little low to you? Hmm. One more for good measure. All right, let's turn around. And there we go. Let's grab that. Was that bird nest? I did. All right. Keep going. Oh, God. It would be so much easier if there was not grass in the way. One more, one more. There we go. Okay. All right, we planted. I think we started with four hundred. So it was four hundred 